let me continue what or where I had left yesterday. <coughs> I would like to point out that uh, somewhere in your mind or somewhere on a chalk or on a this thing you need to have things like this a concept. I think you, some of you may have understood what it is. It is a thermometer with a probe that can be removed. So, I have a probe here then I have a thermometer I am not much about uh, what do you call about the technology behind it. The technology could be it is uh, I mean there is some sensor and there is a long wire and since we are talking about packaging and uh, what do you call uh, making a good reliable and uh, this thing about an electronic enclosure. You need to examine as I have said prior art which is there. Part of it may be patented, but patent is now released as such you can do. So, you first thing one of the first things you notice here is that um, there is a display if I can have a little uh, closer view set as close as you can get. I have seen that we have a display, then have keys, then there is something here and then there is something about a branding. It is a generally a generic product and then you have the, the what do you call the probe. The probe can be put inside even a microwave oven. So, if you are good for what you call cooking food and all anything typically if you have a cake it is possible for you to poke it inside, but generally you are not expected to leave it inside you uh, what do you call uh, push, put it inside and then take the thing hence you know we have a wire. This is where you need to pay a little attention about what is the materials that is used and then how it is and so on. And then at the back a few features have been added one of them is that it already has a clip for holding it onto let us say you want to check the air flow or somewhere we have a clip and then added to the, uh, something a little related to that is we also have a, a stand here. So, that I can hold it on a stand and then most important is this is a place where you need to put a single cell and due to various uh, constraints they have given a what do you call extra place for uh, probably it is a cable and all that. Eventually when it sits it nicely snaps in place there is a place here I will stop it here. Oh it does not want to switch off I hope uh, now it is switched off. At this point I would like you to take a look at the a few of the pictures I went down and took of a similar equipment which had failed earlier. This is what you are likely to find inside when you open it you have seen this. Then if you see the sequence I will again get back to the beginning. As soon as you open it there are four uh, what you call fasteners and then the fasteners you know are holding it at these corners. Oh my mouse pad is not working yeah now it works. So, you see here we have a fastener here the other side there is another fastener when we open it we will notice that uh, it comes up and one of the things you see is that you have a place for a single cell here and then something here which will help us uh, what do you call we have a beep sound and uh, you know things work and all that and then you see here this is where the that clip sits here. 
understand there is a small clip here for the clip to be mounted and to go inside this is the place we have here and then adjoining that is again no there is a small beeper probably it shows if you have a set time uh, I mean sorry set temperature it sits here and all that why I am showing you this is you see the tremendous amount of detailing that has gone inside things are expected to fit especially in manufacturing you have tremendous tolerances a variation is there manufacturer to manufacturer variation is there and in fact batch to batch material to material variations will be there everything however is supposed to fit miraculously and then you see here we have some soldering here and then we have something which is what do you call shrouded there <coughs> once we completely separated see some other features also we see here you see here there is a printed circuit board in which there are a row of pads which are attached here and similarly at this point you have the 1, 2, 3, 4 some switch contacts are mounted and matching with that on the other side we have this red keys you have seen this we have the red keys then we have a display and then at the bottom of this this one is covered by uh, flexible elastomer material and inside now we have a contact pad. So, this contact pad operates the keys and then very important here is and why I am showing it here is a lot of times LCD is not a separate module like what I tried to show you earlier. This has a probably a small uh, reflective pad. contacts huh. and then that is the LCD plate which you need to just take out. There is no firm connection from this point to this point there is no firm connection it is only the pressure of this one more elastomer connector. Since they do not carry current all that it needs is a voltage. So, I have a strong row of pads here and eventually it is supposed to work the way it is supposed to work seen that. So, we have a printed circuit board on which uh, several pads are printed and then this is the device which just goes and sits there. It is slightly different from this one which I started with the other day when I wanted to show you this. Here there is a composite picture which I liked I would like to acknowledge that it has been uh, taken from the internet and uh, you know retrieved it uh, at this point all the necessary things are shown here can you see here one of the first thing is it is placed on a circuit uh, schematic and there is an LCD display unlike the other display this LCD thing including the drivers and all is directly mounted inside this it is a little like what I have shown you there. In the integrated product you need to build everything, but in this case of these you need to work on this. So, before that no, we take this uh, plug in board and then we try to make sure that the our circuit works. How to drive the circuits? I think I showed you already. So, if you go to display catalogs, the display catalogs will give you the necessary information about hardware mounting requirements. So, the height is 36 mm, the earlier one what I showed you in the just previous lecture was 37 mm, they are approximately the height is about the same and then the width you know this is probably a 20 character the other one is different width here is now is restricted to 83 millimeters. And then you see total height, height from the front all of these are available online. Allow me to show you because the time has come that we need to 
gather as much information about all the details as we have here. So, this is a I am not sure which is the manufacturer, but you notice here that uh, we have some contacts here then mounting holes and then see what we have here. It looks like it is a flexible um, what do you call uh, circuit board which makes contact here and then makes contact here and then you are allowed to play around with it. So, at the back various details are there, why I am showing this details at the back is you have to make sure that things do not short circuit and see here I thought it is about time that we need to think about several alternatives also, so that it should not get boring. I am sure you have gone to uh, just allow me to go a little to several retail places where you have a conveyor and then you have something you know a thing sticking out like this which will show you and then why do we need to have this. Now, things with built in display for the customer is also available here. I am happy about it, it is no, not as if no the last display has been made, these are also useful and probably at the base you have a base here oh where is it oh I am to move my hand here, you have a base here, you have something here and then probably there are some connections by which separately you can use the what you call that monitor can be done or you can use the other one also. So, I think I will probably know. <laughs> This is one of those uh, you know more and more of those uh, catalogs. See this? Ah. There are out too many they are out there. If you search this many you have to find out. Now, it is for you to make a what you call call and see how best you can fit there. I will take you to another interesting uh, thing which I tried to show you yesterday. You have seen these beautiful things. So, I have all these options are available for you. You can uh, have overlay sheets and uh, you know you have keys and uh, you have s the one I have got from the thing it will come towards the end uh, just be patient with me a little. Ah. It looks a little like what I had shown you yesterday as part of the CNC machine. So, all these things anything you want there are there are keys here with a small uh, LED button there which shows the button will be lighted up then uh, you have the normal input button then you have function keys all these displays if you can try it is available on the online probably you start here. Now, I will uh, skip to the actual now you agree with me starting point is that locate the display and then after locating the display find out how much of space is required for us. I have seen this how much space is required for us and uh, at that point itself see if you can organize some of these layers and uh, the way you would like to organize the whole product. And then I would like to acknowledge that uh, I am using one of the softwares which is a student or instructed version of it and I fully acknowledge the what do you call the effort that has gone into it and then I suggest all of you uh, spend enough time and then try to make things here. Then I also showed you how to try to arrange these things. So, at this point I would like to probably see what a beauty of it is here.
ஆ நாட் இம்பாசிபிள் எஸ் இன் திஸ் இட் லுக்ஸ் குவைட் லைக் வாட் ஐ எம் லைக் லவ் டு ஹேவ் I see the side view, it, has, it seems to have an organic form. Then I have something here. Then at the bottom, can you see? And the other side, anything you want is already ready here, except one thing. Intentionally detailing regarding where you will mount the things and all that have been avoided because it was part of a simple shell exercise. So you see here, we have anything you want. it's for you to dream up these things see what has happened what i have done here is i have started with two lines in this view you yes, see in this this is where it helps to have the a layer which is a concept layer in the concept layer we try to attach uh, all the construction lines will be there after that using several techniques a surface has been created here which looks a little like a real surface actually this being a simple surface modeler shell command is not available you have to do a little bit of circus like what i have shown you and then what started as a simple layout has been projected into that one more small thing has been done here while for purposes of illustration i have shown you an opening here inside this also oh sorry depending on the program use and depending on the various uh, facilities we have it's possible for us to use all the various effects that we are thinking of making it in this case i'll just show you that there's a nice command called a split uh, command so i take this surface for splitting then i take the cutting objects ah i have a split surface already can you see here this is how that complex structure what i was telling you has been made i think at this point this much of surface modeling is sufficient for you and uh, to make you i suggest uh, if you are a what do you call a learner student and all that if you are an institutional uh, student So you can probably insist to your I mean or uh, you will find several of these uh, programs which uh, including Dassault, Siemens and this one is uh, what you call uh, McNeil Associates. Dozens of these programs are available and uh, you need to get hold of one. And once again I would like to insist that uh, pay for it because somebody has spent tremendous amount of effort to make these things available for you and this is not just advertising revenue and then most of these things allow you a 30 day limited trial limited saves and limited trials like that so once you get used to it i'm sure the institution will be happy to finance this for you 
alternatively maybe you can form a group and then uh, buy one of these things because they are not very expensive. Any of these things, the student versions and the instructor versions are not useful. I feel I am uh, helping both your students and the person who has made it saying you see the power of this and uh, this is not a hacked program. Long ago, see we have been using it for uh, 10 or 15 years in another place. I have uh, what do you call got the licenses from there and I am using it. See, from here you can take off and try to decide to build the remaining model. But then remember what I have shown you is not a end of anything. You understood it is not the end saying automatically nobody can do anything with these things. We usually we start with a circuit like this. Can you see in this? So, one of our students is trying to assemble together. Me being a only packaging, what do you call? I won't call myself expert or specialist. Somebody who's curious of packaging. Honestly, I have no idea what this circuit is and what this red little thing is, and then what this funny looking thing is and why in a very clever way he has pushed another LED in these leads among these LEDs. I have no clue what it is and then uh, there is something else also here and then that is powered and I think in another lecture I told you what those are. Ah. Slowly I think you will understand that we have one uh, what do you call circuit board, then we have uh, one more circuit board this looks like a camera and this looks like an LED light and then you have the main board which needs to be packaged along with this. This was made for a demonstration by another batch of students. So, this is you see here everything is tiny compared to what we know everything is very 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 tiny you have seen here that is reality, reality is you have to work hard. Automatically things do not fall in place. Eventually if you can think up of something and then try to make things it is possible for you to run it in this machine. I think some of you are familiar with it may have noticed what this machine can be. Oh let me get out and see. It did not come, uh, so you are happy. That one was a fuse deposit uh, modeling machine. Uh, I thought I will just uh, stop it here and then go back again to a point here, and this time instead of talking about the organic shapes of all the that uh, you have seen very complicated uh, nice beautiful shapes I have shown. If you want to quickly get it done in the in a fabrication shop you can either make it in sheet metal or you can make it in assembling together plastic sheets. One of the earlier lectures I showed you how the beagle bone uh, people know make all those things together. And uh, I am sure if you are a, a serious uh, hacker or enthusiast you will be hacker means it is not the not about ethical and ethical somebody who likes to tinker around with uh, these things you can make them in your own place. So, I will just start again one more quickly I will try to tell you at this point let me stick to trying to make a simple enclosure except that I will try to go a little faster.
I have a profile of a thing which looks a little like a calculator and I will see whether I can make a sheet metal uh, device out of this. If you again recollect yesterday's uh, show in which I have shown you an LCR uh, bridge and at the bottom there is a small adapter box which was made with two parts of sheet metal. You had one on uh, top going inside the other one then we have this uh, bottom one and then I am sorry it was like this because we needed to put uh, the connectors and then some very clever way they have made a fastening for both of them. Details are not here except that approximately I know the shape and size of it. So, I now go here and see whether uh, see slowly concept I want in general is picking up. So, I have one line representing the left and then I have one more line which uh, Just a minute, I seem to have oh, I am not able to get rid of that color. Oh, forget it. I thought I will uh, switch off the grey colour for some reason I am not able to get rid of it I will see. Right. Okay, I have a beautiful uh, empty screen here where you can probably see these uh, things. I will just start here which will be easier for me again the same thing which I have done in the other program. This is slightly better. See in this, so slightly better at this point and what I would like to point out here is depending on various uh, 
constraints especially starting with the the display and then the total area that is required. Again in the previous uh, pictures I have shown you uh, as a schematic somebody has tried it in a what do you call genuine breadboard or uh, proto board and wish board then they have got it all working after that you have a genuine estimate of what are the components sizes and all that is required. And just earlier just before I have shown you where you buy things which are already tried tested and then try to do a system design by which you try to put all the things together and then your focus is on instead of the hardware which is already tried and proved proven on how to integrate it and how to use it for useful products. So, in this case I generally have a small idea of how big or how small the product is going to look at this point. In fact, it is in order if I can dimension these things. See, it is small 28 mm wide. and 52 mm long small tiny thing hmm? little bigger than the temperature indicator I have shown you. Starting here now let us say from various uh, practical considerations it does not appear to be very convenient for me it looks small maybe I need something which is a little longer. So, I made it longer and then you see without compromising on the total length I have increased the display area. I will even make it little wider than what I need. You have seen this. What started as a small size slowly I notice that it has become little bigger than uh, what I need and similarly height does not appear to be sufficient for me. See, does not look very proportionate. So, I will go back to the old thing where we have started. Okay. better. What I wanted to do was I wanted to maintain the proportions when try to make them a little uh, bigger overall like this. Then fortunately we have beautiful uh, uh, things here saying I can always scale it in uh, three dimensions. So, I take all these objects keep it here make it twice as big oh not bad 124 by 78 parts of the these things have been maintained parts of it have been uh, restored seen this I am on the way. Now, I need to see whether it is possible for me to convert it into a sheet metal exercise. 
for the top portion obviously it is going to be one long sheet metal which will come like this which is relatively easy all I need to do is select a line is a small semblance of this one trying to look like a sheet metal part. Now, comes to the other point saying can I now use it for practically creating sheet metal parts. So, you will notice here is we have the side profiles and if you remember the sheet metal um, what you call the exercise which we are talking about earlier a lot depends on thickness what thickness overlaps what and whenever you bend is a little bit of uh, empirical as well as um, a theoretical uh, thing about what happens to the material in the corner. So, it is possible for us now trying to Oh. What do I do now? Can I make it flat? Yes, I think yes, we can easily make it flat. It is a question of taking all these things, they say everything is bent like this. I need to make it flat and then I have the basic dimensions which uh, have come about and then try to make a flat sheet out of it. I will just show you in profile to sh see seen this. Oh. I will do the other way instead I will go to the dimensions go to dimension properties and then uh, try to default uh, so that it is visible I will try to make them a little bigger 4 times as much as seen that is 22.36 no harm in it. Now, once again I try to go on continuing with these dimensions. very odd yet so it's for us when we are talking about the proportions how to decide on how to make the you know, proportions